Hi, I'm Eric Bloomer, your friendly neighborhood tile guy. We're on part three of our video series on thin tile countertops. I'm going to show a little bit of our display tile that we have in our showroom um, that we let customers kind of look at and, and get a first-hand view of. We've shown you how to cut the tile. We've shown you how we miter the tile and mount it to the substrate. And on this video, we're going to show you how we take and fill the corners and color match them and polish it up to make it look like a solid piece of stone. If you haven't done so already, again, I want to invite you to click that subscribe button, ring the bell to keep updated with our latest videos. And if you're in the mid-Missouri area and you're looking for a solid surface countertop that's different than what you've seen before, give us a call. We'd love to interview for your project and tell you all about porcelain tile and why. We are gonna start mixing our color compound for mitering these edges or polishing these edges. And so we're starting with a white 10 ax base. Brent is gonna add a couple of drops of buff. Um, the bright white by itself is just way too white for this countertop. So we're gonna to try to see if we can't just tone it down a bit so it blends in nicer. One thing we know when we mix uh, these colors is that if we make a mistake mixing, it's all kind of just guess. Um, and so if we make a mistake, we can always just add a different color to kind of help counterdict or counteract whatever color we just added. We are mixing a lot of color because what we have prepped is about half of our countertop. So once we get the right color mixed, we want to uh, be able to just continue to use out of our color box um, and then everything will blend and match up perfectly. We won't end up with different colors on the customer's counter. And so if we end up throwing some of this away, that's that's okay. Uh, it'd be better to throw too much away than to mix not enough. And so the way that this 10X epoxy works uh, is it, uh, until we add the hardener to it, the part that Brent is mixing will stay good pretty much in per perpetually. And so when we start to add the hardener, we're gonna dig out small sections, uh, small dabs, add hardener to that, and then spread those into our countertop. Um, and then we'll wait for that to get hard, then we'll polish it off. The camera's not really picking it up well, but the color it looks to be pretty dang close. Don't you think? Yeah. You think that's, that's all it needs, just a few drops of buff? We have our corners exposed. We are ready to start epoxying. You can see that we tape off and protect our corners uh, with uh, blue tape. The blue tape is there to uh, help make sure that we don't cheat ourselves on the uh, epoxy, uh, what, the, what we fill the corners with. And so that'll help us to overfill the corners slightly. And then once the corners are full, um, the next step will be to pull the tape and then uh, we'll use a, a palm sander to shape and polish up uh, our epoxy. And so we'll show you that once we're to that stage. So we are ready to start filling our corners. We have our color. This is what's going to the job. We pulled a big pile out of that onto a paper plate. The paper plate is what we're going to use out of today. And so we're just going to put a lid on the color so that way it doesn't get full of dust and other things. And we know that'll protect it until next week when we're ready to use it again. And in the meantime, what we'll do is we're going to grab a small piece of uh, paper plate to uh, mix in. And then here's the color. I mean, this is the first color that we have. And you can see a little bit of the contrast. And then we toned it down with some gray, and this is our final color here, and it's almost a perfect match. And so it's just some trial and error on the, on the mixing. Um, we got our color the way we want. Now we'll uh, pull small sections out, add some hardener to it, and then we'll be ready to fill our corners. Oh, okay. We are very anxious about cross-contamination. So the stirring stick that we mix the color with is the only stick that touches that plate. When Brent pull some color off. We're gonna put enough uh, colorant that we can use in a single batch on a fresh plate. And then we'll get a fresh stick to mix and put the hardener in. And then on the hardener, 
what we're looking for. Uh, the ratio they say is a grape to an orange. And so however big your um, color pack is, we need to imagine that's about the size of an orange. And then we add enough hardener that's about the size of a grape and we stir it in. Uh, on our case, the hardener is not there to um, hold the corners together. It is just there as a fill. And so we're not relying on, uh, on an actual bond uh, for durability. We're just relying on something that's gonna be solid that we can fill our countertop and uh, just keep it looking nice. And so we're using thin set mortar as our bonding agent. And so we're fine uh, for bond. And so and then you can see the dollop of the hardener next to it. And then he'll just take the stirring stick and stir the hardener into the color. And then from there, we'll have a few minutes that we can use the uh, epoxy before it starts to get hard. And we would like to try to do uh, a solid run of countertop at a time. How did it look? So we've got our first run of fill done. We take all the tape off. If we don't take the tape off, we find that that can be difficult and it can be bad later to pull the tape. So now that we've got all the tape off, the next step will be to re-tape it so we can get ready to polish it with our palm sanders. And that's how we shape them. And so and then we use tape to help protect the countertop from the uh, agitation of the palm sander. We don't want it to scratch the surface anywhere. <laughs>
fine. Yep. Looks good. So to wrap this video up, or the series up rather, I guess, uh, the first video we showed you how we measure and cut the tiles and get them ready and, and sized for mounting. The second video we showed you how we miter and mount the, the tile to the substrate. And then in this video at the beginning, we showed you the polishing process of how we fill the corners and then shape them up. And so we're just gonna wrap this up with an overview of the project and let you see exactly how this countertop turned out and we'll pan around and you can see for yourself. If you're in the Mid-Missouri area, again, I want to invite you to give us a call if you're looking for a tile setter. We would love to interview for that project and see if we're a good fit for you. If you're looking for an alternative to solid surface countertops and the maintenance of a solid stone countertop scares you off or the worry about burning a quartz countertop is another concern you have, porcelain countertops are the answer that you're looking for. And again, we'd love to tell you all the benefits that porcelain has to offer and the low maintenance and easy to clean and all the other stuff that we can do with porcelain tile. Thank you so much for watching, and if you haven't done so, make sure to click that subscribe button, ring the bell to keep updated with our latest videos, and we'll keep posting content. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell to keep updated with our latest videos. Also, be sure to check out the next suggested video that's going to pop up as well. Thank you very much for watching.